Hello, I bet you wonder what I'm doing with my day today. Well, <laughs> I'm about to go home without showing you the school garden, but hey, let's go back and take a quick look at it, okay? Here's the beds. Got some nice looking stuff in there. I gotta get my shadow out of there. Kale and Swiss chard. It's got some lettuce that's gone to seed as well, just like I do at home, huh? They've got corn. I believe these are zucchinis, just like I have at home. These are some of the little boxes. All the little kids in the school, everybody planted a, uh, a little plant, some kind of a flower. These are little homemade pots made out of newspaper. So they all got to pick a seed and plant, plant it their stops. Oh, my head's in this. <laughs> yeah. There's a nice big cauliflower. We've been calling this a um, um, collard green. I didn't realize it was cauliflower there. Look at this. They've got a nice big zucchini. More of the little self-made pots. The main thing I want to show you today is they are putting up a chicken coop. They've got the sides up. You can tell they're getting ready to put the top on to protect the chickens from like uh, squirrels and um, um, raccoons and stuff. Got a cute little house down here for them. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Well, it's getting late. It's time to go home, so I guess it's time to leave. We haven't looked at this front flower bed for a couple of weeks. Look at how big some of the flowers have gotten here. Garden is very busy, very busy. The hyacinths are, aren't quite ready to dig out yet. I don't even know if quite wants to dig them or try to let them stay. Well, let's hurry up and get to the back, okay? Well, I'm in the backyard. Let's take a look around and see what we have going on back here. Well, here we are. We finally made it to my own garden. So, these are the... Uh, kale they're looking a lot better the new ones and these are green beans that quiet put in those are the ones that have been in the container in the little planter everything looks good where are those green beans or the green beans are going all the way in front of this of this row yeah all the way in front Prickle pear. I'm trying to look at it against the sun. That's not going to help any. Is it? The tomatoes. Oops, some of us need to be put back in our cage. Come here, baby. Don't let me leave you out here until you're too thick. Put back in. Oops. Is there another one? Get back in there. There's more green beans. He tried to put them all around where uh, we're going to be watering anyway. Well, this zucchini has just gone wild. Look at that little one down there. More of the little green beans. More of the green beans. They look, well, this is the little tomatoes, but there's more green beans here. She left this little planting thing out here. These are some of the volunteer tomatoes, these little tomatoes here. See them? Two 
two small ones. They don't look too happy. Making sure the little leaves don't stay down there. Yesterday when I checked, I thought I had these out. I watered them yesterday because it was so hot. Here we go. Keeping an eye on the zucchini. <laughs> I don't want anything to get really big. Lots of flowers. Lots of little zucchinis. I'm trying to work my way down. Yesterday morning, I cut back some of the roses. Or I deadheaded some of the roses. We needed the um, the roses for a little funeral we had for one of our pet guinea pigs. William passed, so we had a little service for him yesterday. Hope this this plant is full. I took some of the yellow ones. I took some of these dark red ones and some lilies. I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> Trying to get down to the little plant that I want to see. Here we go. I'm just going to turn around and just run down there as fast as I can. Right there. We've almost got it. It's almost open. That's very nice. Well, I've been rushing through my day because I've been very excited to hurry and get home and tell you I have found my next big project. I don't know if you remember, I was telling you about uh, a picture of a blanket my friend saw. It's a uh, peacock motif, Afghan. So, yeah. It looks very nice in the picture. And, uh, yeah. So, I had to try it out. Looks like it's easy enough to make, right? easy enough to make. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've done some counting. I counted with wise, right? And it says it looks like it's nine, nine across. And I've also done some measuring. This thing is like a uh, three and a half inches across. So that's going to make it 31 and a half inches across. And um, this way, it's four inches lengthways. So the length of the blanket, there was 14 up and down. And um, so that's going to make it 56 inches long. The length will be 56 inches. The width will be 31 and a half inches. And that doesn't look very big to me, but hey, we'll see. Because that's going to turn out to be quite a few little things I have to make. And I will need to make 126. This is the first one I made, right? So you can see there's one, two, three, four color changes. And then to find a way to get them to go together. Because this is a reversible blanket that she showed me a picture of. And everybody I know says, oh, you can't have a reversible blanket if somebody's planning on using it. If it's a reversible blanket, it needs to be draped on a chair like the one in the picture. If she wants to put it on her bed, you need to make it usable, which means it'll be too heavy if you make it reversible. So, yeah, a little drama involved. So I need to figure out a way to attach it or make the other blanket. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to find a way to attach it, though. Attach the little peacock motifs together. So that's what I am going to be up to. So that is all I have for today. I am going to go and uh, crochet. <laughs> have my dinner and then crochet. 
I'm working on the insides right now. I'll make probably about 50 until I get used to making, making them and then tucking in all the strings. And then I'll go to the next and make like 50 until I get used. And then I can go back and start, you know, interchanging it. And then I'll make the last one when I'm really used to it. So, so it'll be easier that way. I have a little box for the middles, a little one, another one for the yellow to put on and another one to put the green on. And that'll be the done box. <laughs> that'll be the done box when the green goes on. So that's all I have for today. And hey, I need to have the little blanket done before June. We're going to uh, make a little surprise for her and get all the kids involved. They'll, they'll love it. They love to sign cards and stuff and make little letters of appreciation for people. So <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. So that's all I have for today. Bye-bye for now. Bye.